Hello. <laughs> Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, read the title. Um, oh my god, I took a nap. A really long one. So my voice is going to be very low. It's morning voice. It's morning voice. That's where this is coming from right now. It's, I know I sound kind of sick, but I really just slept for too long in the afternoon. <laughs> I finished work at like 5, and then I went to sleep, and I thought I'd be up for dinner at like 6. Turns out... I slept for two hours, three hours, because now I'm, now it's eight, and I'm literally just, I just have food right here, I thought there would be music to give us company, but that's, you know, we're just dealing, we're having to deal, so I'll, for the first little bit, I'm not gonna, like, voice act or read, I'm gonna, just gonna eat a little bit, and I hope you remember what happened yesterday, this is the first time we haven't finished a court session in, like, one go, so this is gonna be, we have to remember everything. Should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now, to the matter of the victim's shoe, I didn't, did I not bring this up? Two types of blood were found in the shoe. One was, of course, the victim's, and the other blood type matched that of the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Okay. Flawless evidence. Try lunch land for all your lunch and size of evidence needs. Okay. That's pretty. What's the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard this evidence? Simple as I've already said. I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed. Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends and for what three in forensics? In any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this evidence. What? You must know the two rules of evidence law. Rule number one: No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, this shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. Okay, I'm gonna bust out my. <laughs> okay, hold on. So it's taking us five chapters, however many hours. Four minutes into the stream for evidence law to come into play this whole game huh both you and Phoenix mr. Edgeworth you guys have not been following this law at all because we just bring shit up without the police even knowing we picked it up come on Seems so. Nitra sure is celebrating. <clears throat> Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. Is that right, Mr. Wright? Seems so. I just looking pretty solid. We could at least study some evidence law, really. Yeah, we could use some study. We could use some evidence law if we could. But we choose not to, apparently. The, pro the prosecution's complaints notwithstanding. It appears this evidence satisfies the first law the first rule of evidence law. However, it seems to have yet another count against you, witness. White enamel shoe, bears traces of blood, Goodman, Lana Sky. Okay. That's a white enamel shoe. It's my sister's, right? Pierce so. Lana's right hand was bandaged when I saw her in jail. She must have cut herself at the time of the crime. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's blood on here, too. On the sole of the shoe, it's got to be the victim's. He must have stepped in a puddle of his own blood. All his blood, it's horrible. Okay, 
Is that it? Is this the is this Lana's shoe or the victim's shoe? I can't tell. Uh, zoom in. No change. No bother. Okay. Uh, evidence still stands. I would like to see what shoes she was wearing. She was wearing heels. Nope. Those shoes. Oh, I don't know actually. Those shoes look pretty the same to me. But it looks black in the picture. Interesting. It's almost like this evidence was forged. Wait, Penguin's not here. There we go. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. P.S. Please hold it there. Why'd you love about those five minutes? I guess you could say I just wanted people to look at the results. How many times do I have to tell you this? I saw the chief prosecutor stab the victim before my very own eyes. Compared to that five, compared to that, a five minute blank that means nothing. Then why didn't you just tell the truth? Don't make me laugh. Whoop. Falsified evidence, arranged testimonies, erasing and manipulating evidence. When you fight monsters, you need to use every trick in the book. The most despicable crime of all, Miss Star. Yeah, not the forging of evidence. <laughs> And now to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? You did not bring this up. And you found this shoe at the scene of the crime? I detained the chief prosecutor and notified the police department. I wanted to make myself useful while I was waiting for the police to arrive. So like an ill-trained pooch, you snuck off with a shoe. <laughs> I was afraid someone would erase the chief prosecutor's crime. The shoe is my secret weapon, if that should happen. See this fashionable basket I have here? Carries much more lunch bo lunch boxes, gentlemen. Make free to your lunchbox bag, okay? And then we should put blah blah blah. Tell us what you did next. So you brought it to the forensics department. If you're going to submit something as evidence, you need to prove you need to prove to that evidence must be analyzed by a forensics expert. And she got away with her little coup because she used to be a detective. The shoe does appear to have blood stains on it. Well, the man was stabbed after all. Okay. As I said, there are two types of blood found in the shoe. And this type of blood matched the defendant is not a sky. You can't say for sure the blood belongs to the defendant without a blood test. I'm oh, sorry, with a blood test. You think they know something about blood tests, rookie? Well, speak up. Oh, uh, well. Blood comes in four types, A, B, O, and A, B. However, you can't tell from a blood test whether a murder was committed in cold blood. That's just a figure of speech, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Actually, we can differentiate between millions of types with all blood tests out there, which means that we can more or less narrow any sample of blood down to just one person. Or so I hear. That's pretty specific. If I had a little more time, I would have gotten a DNA test result. But they said there's very little doubt it could be anyone's but Miss Lana Sky. Hmm. So the suspect's blood was found in the victim's shoe that ties her directly to the death of the Goodman. I can't let this evidence go through without a fight. You heard the peppered fish guts, right? Some like it hot, Mr. Wright. Some like your clad. She's in enough hot water to make. Well, to make a whole that of soup. Do you or don't you have a problem with the shoe? A problem? There is a problem. I'm not imagining things. I'd say there's one critical problem with the evidence. A clear contradiction. The cleaning eye, you're still young, rookie. I'd give you a peppered fish gut now. But you couldn't take the heat, could you? Let's see what Mr. Wright has to say. What is the contradiction about the victim's shoe? Show us the problem with the evidence. Oh, I couldn't save. I wonder if you noticed there's blood at the bottom of the shoe. Don't mess with me, rookie. Or to be blood on the bottom of my shoes. Hmm, indeed, there's quite a lot of blood on the bottom of the shoe. It makes sense the victim was stabbed with a knife. What could possibly be the contradictory about the bottom of the 
blood in the shoe. I mean, I see no blood stains on the floor. The problem is lies in the footprint. The footprint. Note that the bottom of the victim's shoe is covered in blood. Then, isn't it strange? Why weren't any blood footprints found in the crime scene? Or the scene of the crime? Uh-huh. As you can see, there were no traces of any such footprints at the scene of the crime. That contradicts your claim about this shoe. This picture only shows part of the floor, so there could have been bloody footprints. Then where are they, Mr. Edgeworth? Because we checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. I thought we weren't allowed at the scene. A witness? What, huh? Uh, uh, great going, Mr. Wright, but... It's true that the lack of a footprint is a contradiction, but then we have to ask why there wasn't a footprint. Oh, that's true. There has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. Think, Mr. Wright, think. I don't know why there isn't, but I'm saving. I'm just going to find the contradictions. Does he not have a hold it? Because... Oh, is it just objection? Hold on. I have a food. Some paxio. So good. She knocked my hand aside, kicked over an oil drum. She's beautiful but deadly, a predator, this one, a leopard woman, rawr. Now remember that? Why? What's up? Thought that was a strange thing for the normally cool-headed chief to do. No kidding. Now witness, allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drum, was it empty? I'm not sure like your attitude, Mr. Edgeworth. Though, apparently, you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. Witness, well, was the oil drum empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was burning with water. Still don't get it, Mr. Wright. Do you want to know the real reason she knocked it over? The, do you want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason? I don't mean, yes, the suspect knocked over the oil drum for one of the reasons, one reason alone. To raise the blood stain so it'll become evidence against her. Hey, we're progressing it. I'm not fussed. Tasting him quite nicely, and I can save quite nicely as well. We do have only two lives left. The blood stains left on the victim's shoe ties her quite clearly to this murder. Then, after the deed was done, she knocked over the oil drum to erase the telltale signs. Why, wow, that's a prosecutor's specialty. Erasing evidence. That reminds me, this guy's right hand was hurt. She didn't say she'd cut it herself when she was stabbed. Or when she stabbed him. Says so when my sister's blood got on the shoe. Well, I see no reason to prolong this trial. Mr. Wright, do something, please. What can I do now? Your sister's confessed to the crime and it's and she tried to conceal it. But Enough, there's no need to further your debate. For further debate, the verdict, Your Honor. Very well. Angel stars on the prosecution's side. She could have been lying about the water. If this court finds the defendant Ms. Lana Sky. Little girl, what did you just say? Oh, Emma did it. Nice. Did you say that our angel star was on the prosecution's side? Oh, huh? yeah, you are. Oh, sorry. Sky did it. You're saying my sister hit evidence by erasing bloody footprints. Well. I thought you had your, fi your fill, but here you are demanding a second helping. Another lunchbox. A lunchbox called Evidence. What? Witness, don't tell me you have something something else. Like, if she's really wants- she just- her ego is massive. The time for deliberations has passed. Any further comments and you will be held in contempt of court. Your threats don't scare the cough-up queen. Look at this. A photograph. I had it just in case anyone had the gall to suggest. 
that the witness white shoe didn't belong to the victim. Hmm. I see no room for error in this evidence. That's right, wait. Look at the asphalt in this photo. It's clearly wet. Oh, wait. Give us the photo. This is what your sister wanted anyway. I'm sorry, Mia. Right, wet or not? Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Get yourself up the asphalt and take another good look. Don't give up, not until the bitter end. So last piece of evidence. Very well, this time I'd like to declare a verdict for good. Objection. Your Honor, wait. What is it with you people? I can't hand up, I can't hand up my verdicts in peace anymore. Whatever it is, can it wait? No, it can't. Then it'll be too late. Look at this photograph, the last one submitted. This trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. So, right. Are you saying there's a problem with the latest piece of evidence? Yeah. I think later. There's a problem. Right or wrong, I've got to go ahead with this. I suppose since we've come this far, we should e we should give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the court the problem with this photograph. So, it's not that the floor is wet. I think it's the body positioning, but... That's not really, like, the way they want to put it, right? I should have saved! Ugh, Phoenix. As your elder, Mr. Wright, let me give you a piece of advice. 19. Eh, four minutes. That means get food. Eat the food. of evidence what's wrong with that picture the asphalt do be different mm, maybe it's the shoe itself Cause this looks like it's like the. Let me check this actually. This is the right shoe. If the picture, no, in the picture it's the left. It's the right shoe still, so that's still the same. That's correct. Yeah, it's still the right shoe. That's fine. say <laughs> the 
Where's the last piece of evidence? Oh, why was he stabbed in the stomach then? It was a, it was a chest wound. Objection! Yeah, okay, so I guess the chest wound is the thing. Because if we're looking at the picture, everything seems to line up. But the fact that he's stabbed in the stomach? Okay, here we go. Nope, it's a chest wound. It's definitely a chest wound. But I really think it's the body position. Because that's not the stomach. The stomach's down here where this thing is. Um, and that's definitely the right shoe. Well, it's probably here, don't you think? Nope. It's probably not there, Mr. Right. I just remember from the, the crime scene, the, the victim's body was forward when it was found, not lying inside. The floor being wet. Well, I just say the knife. Well, it's probably here. Nope. Six seven S twelve two. Whoa, it's twenty twenty one. February the contradiction the asphalt looks weird the problem with this photograph is here what's this there's something poking out of the car's muffler wait just a moment mr. Edgeworth your honor you just said muffler However, I see no trace of a muffler or scarf in any of kind of photo of any of this kind. In what? However, I see no trace of a muffler or scarf of any kind in this photograph. Muffler is also part of a car or motorcycle, Your Honor. Just think of it as part of the exhaust system, a pipe. I see, and I see. What's a suspicious-looking cloth sticking out of the car's muffler? Hmm. So what if there's something sticking out of the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Is it the note? Sorry, Miss Star, but it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. What? I did not know it was going to be that. Let's save. <laughs> we didn't lose the life, so let's save. Tell us why you think this piece of cloth and the muffler is related to this case. Because it had the memo. Well, I mean, it's the it's this, clearly. Miss Starr, recall your testimony through the court. Ah, yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. Yeah, fair enough. Muffler. Ah, yeah. Could it be that the muffler you heard mentioned 
was actually this exhaust pipe. If so, that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. But I still don't know what it's trying to prove. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what it's trying to prove. We'll have to suspend proceedings! Sus. Suspended. I find myself worrying about that piece of cloth. If we leave any questions unanswered here, do we deserve... We do a disservice to the law. We do a disservice to the law every time we step into this courtroom, Your Honor. From faulty investigations, feeble attempts to keep the trial going, rigged evidence, rigged testimonies, and whatever else you like. This whole game is a sham. This whole game is a disservice to the law. <laughs> No matter how fun or how goofy this game is, it's still against the law. Have the car at the crime scene inspected at once and bring me that cloth. The verdict will wait until after we see all the evidence. Agreed? I suppose so. Ooh, that was close, but we made it at least for now. This court will adjourn in for a 30 minute recess. It's lunchtime after all. You still hungry? Wait, it's only just a recess? Oh yeah! Cool. I'm almost done with my food, give me a second. Damn it, it's just you, Marshall. I'm almost done, I'm almost done. All the police I've seen in the last two days have really been on edge. Maybe because they're all trying to get that <coughs> guilty verdict. Um, Officer Marshall, the whole muffler thing didn't have to do with any to do with the scarves. What? Anything to do with scarves? She wasn't even wearing a scarf. You don't say. Nah. Don't just be though. What? I've seen the red breeze blow at her slender neck many, many a time. I saw it that day too. She was wearing a red muffler. At the awards ceremony that afternoon, Edgeworth seen it too. I reckon. What does that mean? In a photograph taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. Sorry, that was our voice. So, Mr. Sh Miss Star wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time. Remember, partner, sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns. And sometimes you gotta let that bull go where, where it will. Time will tell. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. So, what are we swimming in right now, Mr. Wright? If it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine rib. Ooh-wee! 
Oh, back in court, baby. I'd like to resume. Alright, we'll work from save one, since it's all the same save. Yeah. Save file one. Also, the chief's looking over at the prosecution. There's something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth. Your face is blue, your lips are purple, you're sweating bullets. The furrowed brow, those grinding teeth, those watery eyes. It can't be. This can't happen. I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth. Well then, I believe it's time we continue on with this trial. During our recess, this is unacceptable. Hmm. It seems the prosecutor is quite beside himself. Uh, excuse me, knock knock. Who's there? Um. A strange stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. Hey, the temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. Who on earth is he? Oh, it's you. Uh, I don't know what voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, Aji. The roads are packed. It's just me. Long time no see, eh, Aji? How you been? Swim much these days? Uh, hello, hello. No, I've been so busy. Busy, busy, smissy Aji. My boy, you have to make time to relax. Yes, indeed. Aji? Seems to be a nickname for Judge? I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. I'm um, sorry, but who are you? Ah, so you're Raito, the attorney. I've heard good things about you, son. Ah, so you're Raito, the attorney. I've heard good things about you, son. Ah, uh, thanks. Sorry, so sorry about our little worthy giving you all that trouble, eh? You know you should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly. Nope, that doesn't feel right. Little worthy? Mr. Right. You don't know the district chief of police? Ch chief of police? He's the top-ranking police officer in the entire district. Why are we staring so long into his eyes? <clears throat> Gant Damon? Or Damon Gant? Pleased to meet you. So, uh, what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? Well, worthy here, look at the po look at the poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. Hey, that's my sister's muffler. So Miss Star wasn't just seeing things. When the crime occurred, Miss Guy really was wearing that muffler. But think it was stuffed into an exhaust pipe. On Little Worthy's car, no less. Ah, uh, Southern seems okay. The hilt. SL92. SL9, 221. Interesting, so that's what it's referring to. It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. What's this? It's what you call a switchblade now, quite perplexing this. Ah, oh, he's standing like a true gentleman. Gentleman. If your investigations are dyslex, how do you expect us to do our job? Fair enough, Mr. Edgeworth. Now, wait a minute, Worthy. <clears throat> I don't desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. Or didn't you hear me? I have a look at this document where it says, Person in charge of investigation. There's no mistaking that signature there is uh, Miles Edgeworth. On the day of the crime, I had... You're head in the clouds because you got that award. I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I'll expect a written apology. Are you serious? Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. 
This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss for words. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth. The sort of kept, accepts this piece of evidence, but I'd like to ask the defense a favor first. Just be sure. I'd like to take a look at the blade of the knife. Blade, Your Honor? Well, I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Yes, well, I think all you have to do is push that switch, and if I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. Yeah, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point at people anymore. Just hurry up and open it. Why is it going the whole way around? God damn it. There's a small name tag on the knife. It seems to say SL92. What does that mean? Well, I've heard something similar. DL6 with DL6 incident fame. But it's strange. What is? I'm not certain, but I get the feeling I've seen this somewhere before. Letters like this, or letters that look a lot like this somehow. Yeah, we do. We have the thing, but we don't have the idea to uh, tie the investigation yet, or tie the evidence together. Don't scare me like that. Oh! I'm the one who... Look at the knife blade. Look at the, this knife blade. The tip is broken off. And this dark red stained blood. <sighs> Wrapped in defendant's muffler, small tag attached. This does not excuse the actions of the police department. This does not. I would like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. I'm terribly sorry, but I could I ask you to testify for us about the split between the prosecution and the police of Miss Knife? Sure, sure thing, no problem. Not even a little red one, really. He's got like an insane art style about him, or just an insane design. This knife is special, but I can't say how here. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. A detective was killed at the police department. See, what a mess. A time of crime, 515. Scary coincidence, eh? It's not officially linked to this, so this here case, so I can't talk about much. About much about it. What? So there was another crime? There. There was a murder at the police department? A detective? That's Hush Hush's information, Urgy. We haven't exactly announced it yet. Wait, a second, you said 515. That's the exact time that Detective Goodwin was killed at the prosecutor's office. Order, order. Anyway, we at the department were all flustered, as you might well assume. We're in the middle of a top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, okay? I think we understand the police department situation. Well, Mr. Wright, two detectives killed at the same time in two different places. The chances of that are really slim, scientifically speaking, of course. That's very true. I'd like to exercise my right to cross-examine the witness. Very well. However, keep your questions focused on the case at hand. Well, I'll bring up the note when I can. Mmm, hard to come by this particular knife anywhere else. Might that special thing be this little tag? Oh, sorry, Rato, but I can't say that now, not that. Who established that the knife in Goodman's chest was this knife? Now, why was there another knife at the scene of the crime? That's quite a mystery. And like a mystery, it's wrapped in something. A muffler. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. Well, there is. This knife was found in the scene of the crime. I think that makes connected case, don't you? There's a lot of things that can go in the department I can't explain. Yeah, there is. Can I flip it? Oh, I can't flip it. They won't let me flip it. Uh, oh. That was a bad day for the department. Something happened to the police department too, huh? You got a good look in your eyes there, Raito, my boy. 
sharp, hungry. So something did happen. Why wasn't I informed? Why weren't you informed? Well, why didn't you ask? No matter. I understand you were busy with that Lana's case. With Lana's case, after and all. Oh, he was informed. The other police officer came in to tell him. Well, what happened? What happened at the police department that day? Doctor was killed at the police department. See, what a mess. Yep. On the same day that a detective was killed, well, on the same day that a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department. That's a fact. Surprising, isn't it, Uji? I'm at a loss for words. And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect just arrested him, in fact. Just arrested? That's quick. But there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, Raito? I suppose I could help if you help me by giving me data on your case. Oh, good one. This kid's sharp. Okay, here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing and one thing only. So he already told us when the victim died. Died by the knife. Where was the victim found? In the police department. I'm going to say how was the victim killed. Well, how was the detective killed? How was he killed? Now that's the interesting part. It was what we in the forest call a stabbing with a knife. A knife? Exactly the same as Detective Goodman. That's the spirit we're cooking now. But you know, that's not the only thing that was exactly the same. What do you mean? There are more similarities between the two cases than the other than the cause of death. Evidence room. You wouldn't know about the evidence room, would you, Ratto? I can't say I've heard of it. We've been there! I guess I should ask again once I learn more about the evidence room. There's something stranger about this than the place where the body was found. What? Five fifteen, he said. Yeah. So evidence room also stabbed. Yeah, it's really interesting because why would the knife be on the other side? There's no connection. How? Because I'm the chief of police. I can't just say anything. I please, Raito, you understand? Try to understand, Raito. <laughs> well, if you can prove that there's a connection, more power to you. Maybe there's something that ties the two murders together. Maybe... Can we look at it a bit more? Oh, we can look at it again. Okay. Before we do anything, we have to save just in case. I'd like to present this. Wait a second. Uh, last and honest goodness objection. This knife, this has to do something with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? Uh -huh, an honest to goodness, what do you mean from Uji? This is great. Look at the tag on this knife, SL92. And this is important, why? Over here, we also have a memo on the victim, on the body of the victim. What's this? 6 minus 7S12-2. 
So your honor, it's upside down. Upside. The printed name on the memo makes it look like it's right up it's right side up. But turn around, what do you get? February twenty-one, SL nine. Whoever wrote this note was holding the piece of the paper upside down. SL nine. That's the same thing that's written on the ta knife's tag. Order, order. Well, chief. Ah, uh, well, I guess the cat's out of the bag. You win, Rato. A win? What game is this guy playing? There was evidence in a case that was stolen from the department's evidence room. Okay. That was stolen but on the day of the murder. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna just take a quick break. Alright, we back. Hello. There's evidence you say. Was it in fact a murder weapon? Nice, nice, nice. Good show, little worthy. It was a murder weapon, as it happens. It was evidence from a case long solved since. So the knife was stolen on the day of the murder. It was found in the exhaust pipe of Edward's car. How do you think there isn't a connection there? That was a bad day for us, department in my investigation. Stolen from the evidence room. Okay. Yep. 
It was in the evidence room. Interesting. Save. <laughs> We've got handed our ticket to town on this case. With the link between the two cases established, we finally have some leverage. Now we can get Gan to testify about the details. So my question is... Between the knife and the note, which one is it? Well, the knife itself was found in the detective- in the- in the evidence room. Or stolen from the evidence room, so I'm just gonna say... Well, this could also be a note to say where to steal it from and what piece of evidence you were looking for hide and what you're trying to find, try and hide. So, let's see this. Nope. No, I did not mean to hold it. Oh, I was just supposed to hold it. Oops. Okay, the defense position is simply this. The connection between these two cases has already been proven. Eh, why don't you say? Well, out with it, Rado. What's your connection? Yes, out of it, Mr. Out with it, Mr. Wright. The connection is a place mentioned in the testimony we just heard. The knife found in the lot was stolen from the police department's evidence room. Not to mention the victim had on him the case number on the knife's and the knife's evidence tag. And we also know the detective number murdered the, what? And we also know that the detective murdered at the police department was killed in the very same evidence room. Indeed, there seems to be too many connections for it to be a coincidence. Is his eyes like meant to be something that you can, um, what's the word? Be hypnotized with because it has like extra circles in it. Yeah. You two make a good pair. It took my men two days to find out what you detest would do deduced right here. Your men are garbage, Chief. I guess that you released your information on the victim of the police department. See, that's the tricky part. It hasn't been announced yet and all. Can we get the information unofficially? Hmm. Sure, why not? It's unofficial after all. What really? Who would have guessed? I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal the name of the victim in the department, okay? You're going to tell us a little. Why not tell us everything? Well, that's the sticky stuff right here. You didn't do anything properly. I guess I might as well try and get out of him. Let's go with the victim's ID number. Why not? You'll be able to tell us information like that. I'm going to have to write this down. We keep a tight lid on ID numbers so don't get any hopes up. Damn. 5842189. ID number. 5842189. Okay. Well, that's quite long. And we have to remember these. It drives me nuts. 82, I can't do it. You didn't even get the first number right. Well, Mr. Wright, does this tell you anything? I did number the police victim 5202189 Ah, uh, this tells me something. Actually, it does, Your Honor, it does, I think. Meaning? It has to be what I think it is. But what does this mean? Well, let's hear what the defense has to say. You say the ID number of the defective who was murdered at the police department. Tell us there's something that does tell you. Witness. What is it, Mr. Wright? You're grinning like a schoolgirl on prom night. No, I it's just I got confused. And this is news. Huh? Just come out with both guns you just can't just come out with both guns blazing like you always do. 
police department's prosecute the police department, the prosecutor's office. Two places, two detectives murdered at one time. Actually, I happen to have a police number ID here. Oh, is it yours? No, Your Honor, I'm a defense attorney, remember? This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Shame on you, Rido. Personal ID is a top secret. Detective Goodman's ID number is 58421189. And this means what exactly, huh? Wait, that ID number we heard from the chief earlier. It started with A2. Oh my god. Hmm, I forgot. Judge! The number the chief of police gave was 58421189. Wait a second, right? What is this? Mean? That's what I want to know. The two ID numbers are identical, in other words. The detective killed in the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman. What does our witness think about that? Oh ho ho! Shop as attack, Raito! Shop as attack! But wait, Detective Goodman's is our victim. He was killed at 515 in the underground parking lot. Where can you die twice? Goodman dies, shadows die twice. Goodman dies twice. Yeah, Detective Bruce Goodman was also killed at the police department in the evidence room at the exact same time. Th that's impossible. So what you're saying is, the same person was killed at the same time. And in a completely different location. That's where the evidence don't make sense, dog. Order, order. Whoa, no. What I want to know is, why didn't I hear about this? Yes, it's top secret, fine, but I'm the prosecutor in charge of the case. Now, just wait a second, worthy. No need to get all flustered. Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. Wait. I said wait. Or didn't you hear me? The oversight, the grave error. Mr. Edgeworth, they're yours. So he's doing all this to tear down Edgeworth. I mean, this is the whole case, right? How dare. We informed you yesterday. I believe it was our Officer Meekins who brought you the news. Officer Meekins? Mr. Wright. Have you heard that name before? Wait. Yep. Um. Ow! Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the Chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. You don't mean him. According to Meekins, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. But your officer, he told me. He said the report had nothing to do with the Lana Sky incident. Detective Bruce Goodman murdered in the police department evidence room. Mr. Edgeworth, the victim's name is written right on the top of the report. Why didn't your officer tell me? Honestly, I'm not sure if that officer was capable of making the connection. He didn't seem... He did seem challenged. Oh, game. Come on. In any case, this is a serious error, gross negligence of your of, of duty in your part, Worthy. But, sir, you could have submitted that report this morning to the court as evidence. Then I... Ah, uh, with the long pauses. This is why speedrunning the game is so hard. No such like this, time Worthy. Or should I say, unworthy. Now, what was the second rule of evidence law? Hmm. That's right. Oh, well, it's, uh, rule number two, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. It is relevant! What? How is this rule relevant? Normally, you submit a list of evidence to be used in court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. So, what does this mean? I can submit this evidence until the connection was proven in court. The connection was just proven by Raito over here. Good job, Raito, my boy. I'm just doing my job. No. No. Bum. Bum. It seems we have come to the end of this trial. Oh, I know you're going through a tough time, Worthy. With all that rumors and all. You were even in the defendant's chair just past this past December. I apologize for this terrible lack of due diligence on my part. Mr. Edgeworth, please, just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened if it's the last thing I do. You better get results this time. Really? You have my profound apologies, sir. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I don't think there's ever been an error this serious in, court, in the history of this court. 
I will grant one further day as the prosecution has requested. Would that be sufficient, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Whatever your punishment for this, I, for your sake, I hope it's not decisive. Very well. Court is adjourned. Hey, we got through two court sessions. Technically through the same day, but it still took an extra hour, so that's, like, pretty rough. It's good that we stopped yesterday. February 23, 215, Dragon Cove. Uh, so, Mr. Wright, what's going on with the case anyway? I'm a little confused. Well, let's see, what is going on? The victim, Detective Bruce Goodman, was stabbed to death at 5 p.m. on the 21st. After 5 p.m. He died in the prosecutor's parking lot and the police department's evidence room. What's this and the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office and the police department are 30 minutes apart by car. Well, that's what we're going to find out, or try to at least. Let's do it. Glad she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure she's going to be much help with this. Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Well, look, we're in this together, right? I'll prove that these thick-rimmed glasses of mine aren't just for show. Let's go. Science awaits us. Okay. You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? It was only our victim who was killed in there. No biggie. Well, I mean... <sighs> hour and a half of four so he could have been stabbed in the room and taken over using edward's car but edward was the person who brought the car in then again what if miles didn't know that the body was in there same with the prosecutor my sister raising evidence at the crime scene never even though, she, even though she says they don't get along, Emma really likes her sister. That's not at all, it's just... We're both professionals that we do, and I trust her. Why does she hear every single word that we say? Big words for a high school student. Well, whether there was blood on the floor or not. The water in that oil drum washed it all away. They don't have the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. That's luminol testing fluid. That is sticky stuff, you know? You can't just wash it away with a little water. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. But would the police have already done those tests? Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, Mr. Wright. Just give it a try. Why do I have to do it? I'm a minor, I can't even drink yet. Or we're testing blood stains with this stuff, it's not drinking. Here, look, I'll lend you these glasses, huh? You got an extra pair of these things? To test for blood reaction, just spray the luminal bottle on it like this. See? Press the A button to spray it on. I can see your eyes shining behind those glasses. So, this is a blood stain. It's so. <sighs> I mean, you're shaking. It's just, this is my first time seeing real blood. Scientific, scientific investigation in action. Okay. Well, we definitely know that this is a blood stain. But, doesn't something strike you as odd, scientifically speaking, of course? What's odd about this? I guess the amount of blood? The perpetrator and Detective Goodman fought here, right? Don't you think there'd be a little more blood? I definitely think so. I mean, look at all the blood in the sole of the victim's shoe. It is pretty strange. If they fought here, there'd have to be more blood on this. I'm gonna mark up the floor plans where we found the blood stain. Okay, cool, that's in the evidence now. They're pretty handy to have around, right? Yeah, this stuff's pretty handy too. I saved my allowance to buy that. Just barely got your notification. <laughs> I didn't post them on Discord. Uh, what's up, my boy? How are you, Jojo? We finished day one of court. Obviously, there's going to be three days for the last chapter. I'm just feeling very tired at the moment. It's kind of crazy, actually. I slept for three hours just before this. Like a really strong nap. Watching Boba Fett. Hell yeah. Hands off my crew. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. In the game, Phoenix is 24 and she's 16. We're not gonna do shit. We're just trying to solve murders here. 
Can't be sure that the police will reveal all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. Then let's drag the hidden evidence out into the light of day. I guess I should give this spray, uh, give this spray on anything suspicious. I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice deli box. The star. You only trust your own eyes, hmm? Not bad, you two. This day old deli box is on the house. Sorry, it's just that kind of lead that doesn't really get in my mouth watering. Ding, ding. Just you wait, excuse me? Yeah, she's 16. Um, let's... Hey, Emma Sky, age 16. Not Emma, yeah, I mean, right here. I mean, her sister's 29, that makes sense. Angel Star's 31. Jake is 33. So, 29 and 33 is not a huge age difference. Shit, the chief of police is 65. Look, a door, this must mean something. The wording Angel said. I'm sure that means the door means anything. And the letter. Then the phone. The wall partition. Probably see a lock from up there. That probably means she wasn't lying when she said she saw Mrs. Guy stab him. Where's the security guard anyway? Well, it's just something I heard. But apparently he went out to buy coffee for Miss Star. That one is a force to be reckoned with. Okay. Are we going to play the spin-offs as well? Um, maybe. Probably not. We do have a bunch of games that I want to I do have a bunch of games that I want to play after this. Fist of the North Star, Shenmue 3, Judgment, and Bioshock Infinite. Those are the five games that I have currently in the list. And the games that I currently own so I don't have to spend money to play games, you know? <laughs> These are the ones. I might get into uh, Fist of the North Star after this so we can have some stupid fun. And then maybe Judgment or Shenmue because those are quite investigative games. Probably get through Judgment first. We'll see. It's okay, don't cry. That Lana Sky must be one strong woman. Body. So wait, the victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. That's where we found the note. Detective in charge was the victim. What kind of case I saw online incident was. Then the car. Who's a down or a coop? Because Professor Layton in Ace Attorney game is good too. I hear Professor Layton's actually really good. And the other Ace Attorneys, uh, yeah, I hear it's good too. We have one, two, we have two and three here since it's the entire trilogy, but I know the Edgeworth games are good as well. And the new one, I hear people love it. The crossover though? Did they have a crossover? Huh. Those are car types, right? Not models. You're a guy, aren't you? You're supposed to know these things. Nice. I mean, I'll, I'll probably have a look at it, like, after, or, like, on my off time. Then again, this is when I normally play games, so... But we'll see. Excuse me. I also plan on playing the brand new, um... Jet Set Radio game. The one that's releasing this year. I think it's releasing in February. The... Oh, what's it called? I don't remember what it's called, but I want to give it a shot. I want to give it a go. Since... The first one was really fun. The new one should be cool too. So, Miss Star climbed over this fence, it seems so. <laughs> Maybe there's a lunchland Olympics team. Alright, cool. 
So let's talk to Sky now. I know I wrote it down. The um the new game. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. That's what it's called. I I'm honestly it looks good. I would love to give it a shot, give it a try. I just kind of go with it. Oh, today's trial. You certainly put me in a tight spot today. My apologies, Miss Star, but it was my fault. Oh, we know. I witnessed everything from the security room right there, but I was afraid that wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry? You lied in the witness stand. That's unforgivable. Little girl, don't forget what's important here. Even if the places I've witnessed and the events was different, I still saw what I saw. Chief Prosecutor Sky stabbed the man in cold blood, and that testimony still stands. Yeah, it does. It does. I swear it on my honor as a detective, she stabbed Goodman. Well, she didn't technically stab such a Goodman. So you were a detective, weren't you, Miss Star? Objection because I said so. <laughs> they coughed it up. Coughed it up. They confessed. They babbled like babies. You know? You know, I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel too. I wouldn't doubt it. Every day I dragged the dirt of the miles of suspect after suspect. And before long they called me the Cough Up Queen. Oops. And you were let go? Fired? I'm a dream job when I became an investigator. The pain and proper prosecutors had let me go. I'd still be in one today. It's all because of that case, the SL9 incident. Hey, more DLSL whatever number incidents. Let's learn. Also, I'm so tired. I'm actually going to cut the stream at 10. My god. Um, what do you think about this? That's all nine incidents written on that knife. And on the note. Goodman. Goodman was the head detective on that case. That knife was evidence from that case. The murder weapon. It was due to, for transfer the very day that Goodman was killed. That's all nine isn't over. Not yet. You can tell us more about SL9. Anything else to present? Okay, wasted time. Uh oh. Tell us more about SL9. What? Excuse me? Come up. Whew. He looks wimpy, but you can tell there's a sharp edge under that facade. That little boy's going to be someone someday. Or someone would say that about me. I watched him just now. I mixed in a lot too. Mixed in what? Oh, my very own scientific ad additive. Well, Charlie, do you like it? I told you he's turning yellow. I'm 
barring this task. Let's see, George Washington was the first king of America. Sorry, Mia. King of America? Wait, I thought this was set in Japan. Well, this is obvious you should be in with that, you know, that thing. The mystery of the victim, guess. How could one man? Take a good man, be in two places simultaneously. Okay. And you're going through a tough time, worthy. <sighs> Just past December. Yep. There's that business with him not reading that officer's report. About killing the police department. Chief police was right about that, but I can't help but think. Someone at the police department doesn't like Edgeworth. Oh, really, right? You don't say. Looks like Miss Sky is in questioning. The detectives aren't yelling at her. How did you kill him in two places at the same time? Can you imagine? How is she supposed to answer that? Wait a second. Did Mr. Gantz say they'd arrest a suspect in the police department murder? Let's come back. Okay. Let's just do the exam rooms as per. Don't scare the poor guy. Alright. Everyone looks so deadly serious here. Well, there was a vicious murder of the detective down at the police department. Yes, but the same detective was also killed at the same time in the prosecutor's lot. It makes my head hurt. Well, first things first, let's go check out the police department crime scene. You sound so dead set on investigating. But don't mess up or we could wind up dead. I doubt anyone wants more my mysterious dead bodies around here. It doesn't look like anyone's going to help us much either. Detective killed in the evidence room? <laughs> Tell no one outside of the department. No, I told that old lady at the restaurant everything. Why do I keep thinking the clock is going to do something? Oh, why there's so many little flies? Don't show her the movie mock up outside then, you'll give her nightmares. Cool. I know the killer used dry ice. If you put it in between the latch and the door, the room could could be sealed shut. I'll win a writer's award for sure. He's not writing a report, he's writing a novel. This whole time. It's even busier here today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast they're blurring. I suppose it makes sense the detective did get killed here after all. So the evidence room, the scene of the crime. According to the pamphlet, we got it at the front desk. Here it is. She's like a kid at an amusement park. Boy oh boy. Why? Let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's dancing. The police department has been dancing around like crazy since yesterday. Can't take out his batteries. I just can't help but feel he's going to do something naughty. Ha! Foreshadowing! Let's get excited when I come to police station. Yup. What were you thinking? Where's your head, sir? It's right here, sir. I guess he wasn't saluting. He was showing detective where his head was. They make a good pair. Cards 
station. Wow, there's so much tequila. And why is the hat of a cow, like a cow print? What's with the decor in this place? It's very eccentric. According to the pamphlet, this is the guard station for the evidence room. You can probably hear my brother celebrating. He's playing some Val. So beyond that door is the evidence room, the scene of the crime. It sure seems that way. Those cacti, they're so prickly it's imposing. It's hard to think straight. I can't handle the cacti stay out of the desert. What I want to know is this guard station is where the guard is. I have a feeling who know who he is already. Lol, really? Do we have a feeling? This was prickly. Must be the real deal. I think just one. I would think just one big one would be sufficient. These cacti are a lot like my sister, actually. Encased in a cold, rigid shell with a spine pointing in every direction. Just like her. I'm not sure I see a resemblance. It's more an attitude thing than a physical similarity. This swimming door makes the place look like some kind of saloon. But look, it's nailed shut. Can't get in that way. Of course not. If you weren't to go through here, the cactus would fall over. I'd say be more of a yarg myself. A uh, yarg. Are we not going to look at the copious amount of alcohol and booze? Security guard uniform hanging there. Looks more like a costume than a uniform, honestly. Leather jacket, leather pants, a leather... What's that thing called again? A punchy, a ponchy, a pinchy, I know, a poochy, a poncho? I mean, that wasn't it. It's a poncho, but I think I'll keep the information to myself for time being. It looks like there's a video feed for the evidence room here. There's a light blinking below the mirror. Monitor says recording. And we could use this computer to check who and when out from here. Yep. The alcohol is not a thing, apparently. The lasso. Set out to trap something. Maybe someone here was trying to catch a wild bull in here, but the lasso missed. Alright, computer. Oh. The sign that says Texas doesn't doesn't think for us. The instruments behind that door. Let's just walk in. It won't open. I thought it'd be open? So my mission to go in there first. Okay, cool. Well, I think that's everything. I feel like we should know more about the case, but she's not saying anything else. Well, it's very classy today. This place is classy today as it was yesterday. I'm sure it'll still be just as classy tomorrow, Emma. Simply Edward's not here. I'm sure he's doing uh, important investigations. So we'll have to come back, okay. Let's do the other searches. Why is she an important piece? Emma Sky. Oh, that's cute. Someone use marker on the start. The name.
getting ready to call the queen. Found this ID here in the parking lot. Well, that's no mistake. It's Evan Goodman's, but the same ID as the man who was killed at the police department. That's impossible. I wish I could be so sure. If you think about it, I could have taken that picture from the guard room. But even if I get flustered sometimes. So he went straight to the scene of the crime. I rushed towards the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murder. That's when I took this photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime. Those five minutes are the whole problem. The hole in my testimony, as it were. Five minutes weren't the problem. Miss Star, you lying was the problem. <sighs> that time. Finally! The SL9 incident. The incident really opened up my eyes to the truth. We're nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable to who? Two years ago, it was the biggest case I'd ever handled. The police and the prosecution prosecutors were disparate for decisive evidence, so they didn't solve it. On the contrary, it was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. The criminal got what was coming to him. Uh, it doesn't get any clearer than that. The only problem was, they never did find decisive evidence, not a shred. What? The criminal was executed, right? On the basis of evidence of a sort. Made up evidence. You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? Yep. The best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case has dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. You were one of those. Myself with one other person you know well. Yep. Marshall. Jake Marshall. I mean, Police Department Security Detail Officer Jake Marshall. As a professional detective, we need to investigate that case from every single angle. Jake was particularly determined. Then it was over, he was demoted. However, he hasn't forgotten, neither have I. You've forgotten, you haven't forgotten SL9. There was another side to that case, a hidden side. That's uh, what we're after now. And no one, no one up in their fancy office can stop us. There's only one reason I come to sell just in the securest office. Like I'm here to meet my friends, boyfriends, that can help me investigate. How many does she have anyway? Just when all the detectives of and I have disappeared, we find new evidence. There has to be a connection. So, rookie. What? It seems like you're serious about investigating this case. Yep. Then you should take this. Whoa! A Salisbury steak lunch! I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this treat. Okay, so it's gonna work for thing. It's gonna work for Marshall. What did it say? Receive from a star. Excellent for putting Officer Marshall in a good mood. My mouth is watering. I can almost hear the sound of steak frying on the grill. No doubt it's all cold and tough by now. I'm sure it's delicious, but Star poured her heart into making this. As long as she didn't put any other organs in there. Give it to me. <laughs> it does look real nice. I'd send it over if I could. Mr. Green is Mr. Need. She must mean beef. She probably just wrote it generically. Well, let's hope so. As a scientist, I have to check what additive she used. Go to town. Hours of sweat and labor, lol. Lunchland. I wonder if it's like... Because it looks like the Kirkland logo. I wonder if that's what they're copying. Then again, I don't know if that's like a Japanese thing, Kirkland's. What do you want to know? I'm just wondering what happened to him. A long time ago, when he was helping my sister do cases, he was so nice. He got along so well with my sister, it made me jealous. And he was nice to me too back then. This would be more after Marshall was a detective, but now he's so cold. Jake and I are merely cooperating in this investigation, putting the past to rest, as it were, nothing more than that. I see, thank you. Cool, now we know where to go. This is the place charged with the frenetic injuries. Always. Please. Wasn't that? One steak lunch, please. Oh, it's you. No time to do for chit chat, pal. I'm a busy man. 
What I really need is a steak, a steak from Lunchland. Oh, you mean one of those? One of these? Actually, it's not for sale. Boba Fett getting good. Isn't it like season three now? <laughs> I haven't watched any of it, but the people that I follow online are saying that season three took some time to get going. It's still season one? Or you're watching season one? It's a highly rated show for some reason, so... I would assume if people watch it, it's gonna be good. Unless, you know, Big Boba Fett is in everyone's pockets. Mandalorian has two seasons. Oh, Bubba just released months ago. Okay, sorry. I forgot it was two different shows. Excuse me, excuse me. Yo, I really am tired. Holy shit. Like, my angel was just so low right now. And I know I just ate as well, but like, I don't know if I could even go back to sleep or if lying down is going to make me feel restless. Damn. Ugh. I think I just heard the sound of a heartbreak. Aw, now's no time for despair. We've got our criminal, now we just need evidence. Criminal, you mean? You heard about the stabbing in the police department evidence room, right, pal? Yep. <coughs> <coughs> what the fuck? Cough <coughs> 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 up queen got me. Um, yep. Yeah, I'm dying. Oh my god. I need to go like... Uh, I need to do something. Ugh. Here's the biggest scandal to hit the, st the station in ages. Everything stops you, Turby. Listen, pal. All I know is I need to steak and lunch pronto. Questioning should be over, so I figure he's down there having a good cry. Send the files and I'll continue the game. <laughs> <coughs> continue it in my honor, Jojo. Ugh. He ran off to the evidence room. Well, this investigation's off to a running start. I think I'm feeling too bad. I shouldn't continue. But I have 24 minutes to go. So, I might pivot. Is there something to pivot to? I mean, I could play some Tetris. Yeah, I'll play like a little, like 20 minutes of Tetris. Okay, hold on. Penguin. Oh my god. Was the audio really going at the same time? Well. Well. <laughs> I'm a hack. Anyway. Why is Pikmin flipped? Yo, you played Monster Prom? Nice. Yeah, dude. Monster Prom is so fun. I played Monster uh, Monster Camp with uh, Writing with Invisible Ink. That was like last year. Around this time last year, actually, we did. Our, I did my first ever collaborative stream with her. It was really fun. 
Um, and I played Monster Prom with my girlfriend um, on our trip. It was really cool. I might do a run here and then because it, you can do it in like two hours. It's pretty quick. Um, sorry, let me just fix Penguin. Penguin is not... Why is Penguin looking the wrong way? I played the Yogg, which is the same style. The Yogg is the one with... Oh, I know, I saw um, Yogg's cast playing it before. Yeah, is it a dating sim? I thought it was an adventure game. It is an adventure game. It's more adventure than it is dating, right? No, it's an adventure game. Okay, cool. As I thought, as I thought. Um, let me switch it up. What? Ah, uh, here we go. Beep. Yeah, we'll chill out with some Tetris. Um, and then go from here. Bloop. Bloop. Can you play a game of 2K just cuz? We could play, we could play 2K. Should I play basketball? NBA 2K. What is happening? Oh god damn it, I know what's happening. Give me a second. Uh, I haven't actually played like my PlayStation on stream for a very long time. Or on my computer for that matter. It. System. There we go. Cool. Now, with 19 minutes to go, this, there we go. Now it's working. Fine, we'll flip penguin. Okay, cool. Yeah, we could play some 2K. We could play some Tetris. I don't know. Because <laughs> if I play 2K, I'll end up just... I'm not even going to play like an interesting fun game. It's just going to be the I'm in summer league at the moment. Tetris. Okay. <clears throat> we played the Tetris. I haven't played in a long time either, so we'll see how it goes. It's been a while, it's been a while.
Maybe Tetris will also like wake me up a little bit. <clears throat> More calming and cool down for you. Yeah, that's fair. I do play 2K to like relax all the time though. You ha you you have those games I'm pretty sure Jojo where you just like even if it doesn't seem like a super relaxing game to people, it's just one of those games you just play all the time. And for me that's sports games. Sport games are very like Violence is relaxing. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people just find it fun. Oh my god, I forgot. I The controls are not here with me yet. I gotta warm up a little. I do rogue or RPG like Monster Hunter games. Mm. No, I see, I see. That makes sense. Monster Hunter especially, because you could just like hunt a monster for a little bit and then once you've captured or like do little little quests or find little pieces of like what would you call it? Like resources and stuff. I if it's clear I haven't played a Monster Hunter game in so long, but you know, one of those pick up and drop down games. Once you're done doing your quest, you're just like, all right, we're good. It's like people who do dailies Genshin all the time. They just play for the dailies and then they're done. Which, not a bad thing. If that's how people want to consume games, like they should be allowed to consume it like that. <coughs> I like sports games because they mainly give, they give me a good sense of progression. Because I play a lot of um, uh, season modes or dynasty modes. So just having my team progress and go through a season and then starting over again with a new season with new players and stuff always feels good, right? It keeps things different. It keeps things going. And honestly, playing a season mode also just helps with just keeping me from having to buy the new game every year. You know, like career mode is fun. My career is pretty okay in 2K. The career mode in Madden is garbage. Madden is a garbage game, let's be honest. It sucks a complete ass. And they're still gonna sell it because it's. They're still gonna keep selling the same broken game because it's like, going forever. Do Monster Hunter in Borderlands 3. Ooh! Oh! Interesting. I guess Borderlands is the same, right? You just loot and shoot for a little bit. And like maybe do a quest and thing because i haven't played borderlands 3 yet and i played borderlands mainly for the story which i think i should probably do it's probably not a bad game to play dun, 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 dun. oh fuck oh fuck not meant to do that Ooh, that was a, that was a, that was pretty tight. Yeah. No. No. Tetris. Why are you betraying me? What the fuck? My brain. Oh my Jesus, okay. What the fuck? Why do we keep doing it to ourselves? Woo! 
Oh, I did not want that. Oh, I did not want that either. God damn it. Oh, we're so far away as well. Oh my lord. Oh, I didn't even change my game yet, I don't think. I know. I need seven. Four more, two more. Oh my God. That took way too long. Uh, I didn't need to use it yet. A B. A B. No, we haven't updated the Tetris. Alright. That map was actually a bit too much for me. I always play on DaVinci. I don't know why I tried something else today. Okay, that's not how the spinning works. T spin. played Dead Cells. It's recently got a new DLC. Ooh, I have heard of Dead Cells. <clears throat> I struggle with roguelites. Or roguelikes, I guess. Um, I don't know. I know that the people really love the progression and just going through like a run and having a run. But I just can't keep playing it. And once it like, finishes, new endgame stuff. Ooh. I guess that would keep me playing one if I really liked it. <clears throat> but I don't know. Like, I would really want to get to know and play... Um, what's that game called? Hollow Knight? Like, that'd be really fun. That's not technically rogue. It's more of a Castlevania. Castlevania-like. What's it called? A Castlevania... Something. Anyway, it's like Castlevania. Um, but games like Spelunky or uh, whatever else, online is more of platform action. Yeah, I know it was a wrong. It was a wrong example. But yeah, Spelunky was fun, but I can't keep playing it over and over again. It's just not my kind of game cycle. But also, I did grow up with sports games, so I really just can't shake that. Get it right, gosh, Lamar. <laughs> but I still, I still stand by the by the, the statement though. I do want to get into Hollow Knight because I hear everyone really loves it and it's a great experience and it's a really good game and it's got a great story and stuff like that. I'm just, I'm just not good with games that have 
backtracking. I don't know if the game makes it easy or makes it clear like where to backtrack and where to go for certain places, but I mean, if it's not clear enough with Phoenix Ride, I struggle with keeping track of things and remembering certain things that are important to the game. I remember tiny story bits, but that's just how my stupid brain works. Story stuff, but not like when it comes to mechanics and things that aren't like clear to me. I really need to be led a certain way. That's why I worry when we're going to play Lost Judgment or Judgment. Sorry, Just Judgment. Because that's a detective game as well. And they don't hold your hand as much as I thought they would have. Like in the regular um, uh, Yakuza games. So it's going to be interesting. Like at least with Phoenix Wright, you know, there's, there's the limit. And the limit is getting the evidence correct and wrong in court. Like, that's where the fail state belongs. But in Lost Judgment, I remember watching a stream and the fail state, not even a fail state, but like the game, the story would not have progressed unless you know which building you had to go to if you were keeping track of everything in the story. So I do worry that once we get into Judgment, I will have to resort to using a guide. <clears throat> Which I don't think is like a bad thing. I think guides are there to help people struggling, obviously. Like, I wouldn't have finished um, Last Guardian. I wouldn't have finished Last Guardian if I didn't have a guide that, to play with. Because that game is, can be so vague sometimes with the puzzles. Or my brain just isn't, you know, smart enough for the puzzles. Either or, I'm glad that there was something to fall back to and rely on when I was not able. Or not in the mind to figure things out. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yikes. Ah. Okay, that's not gonna work. Nice, 150. Um, I couldn't figure it out because of Kiwami without a guide sometimes. When there were no markers. Really? I thought Kiwami was good with the with with guides. I never felt lost when I was playing it. And the Interesting. But that's that's my problem too, right? Like, um I'm at least scared because with judgment there wasn't even a marker and your <clears throat> objective was not clear at all so it was kind of hard to figure out and it would give give you mind you like judgment is a more modern game you think they would figure it out but it was literally like no you have to look at your evidence and figure out where they actually are right now what's the normal place to go to but no i, I could see like you can get lost with kiwami Still weird. Three minutes. I'll run a purify. Oh, it's three minutes as well. All right. Let's close this down. Let's close this mother down. Why? No. OK. 
can't get it open. And I guess like all the talk, or at least me bringing up guides and stuff, is just that weird shame that you aren't a good player or you're a scrub if you need a guide to finish a game. And although that statement may be true, like if you're struggling for something that you're supposed to be having fun at, why wouldn't you use a guide? This is, this is me verbalizing why I shouldn't feel bad about using a guide. Um, but in reality, like, we really shouldn't feel bad for using a guide. Like, if we're using a guide, like, the entire game... Well, I don't know. If the guide takes away from the fun, then that's when I would argue against it. But, the guide is really supposed to be there so that you can go back to having fun. Right? Like, for Undertale, I was not helping people play the game at all. Like, my only thing was you have to figure it out. It's going to be awesome when you do. But that just stops people from playing the game, you know? It's, it definitely stopped my sister from proceeding because it was just too much for her to understand and figure out. Like, hints are good. Hints are good so they can learn about the game and proceed to the next part. Obviously, like, I'll give them hints when they really, really need it. And they'll only ask for hints if they really, really need it as well. Like, there's no point in just... Letting that go too soon. I'm, I'm not building good enough. Here, hold on. Bang, bang. Uh, build there, drop there, drop there. Drop there. Oh, damn. Anyway. Two hours. We reached our quota. I only needed 400 fucking lines. What a scrub. We play this we play this mode like way too often as well for it to be this bad. But we've done three streams this week. That's pretty good. It's pretty good for our normal. Um Yeah, we're gonna end it here. Hey Jojo, thank you so much for coming by my guy. Uh sorry that I was very tired and kind of just like losing my mind in terms of just how I'm feeling, but I do appreciate you being here all the time. I do appreciate you including the subs, like it's it's very motivating to know that people still come back and that come to hang out even if it's to lurk so i do appreciate you coming here it's nice to talk to you as always uh, i will probably stream sometime from saturday to, to monday one of those days i'll probably have some free time to stream carry on some phoenix right then tuesday we're back to normal and then we're back to five day work weeks because of the holidays that have been happening here. We've been having some like day off holidays on Mondays and three day work three day weekends. So we'll get back to the to the to the roll of things into a schedule. So we'll be fine. Anyway, thank you so much again. If you were watching the VOD, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the VOD and going through the Tetris and hanging out. I love you all very much. I'll see you again next time. Okay. Thanks. Bye.